Number 8. Armored Vehicle Incident In 2018, an unnamed Russian man drove an armored vehicle into a supermarket and was then arrested while trying to make off with a bottle of wine. He'd stolen the tank-like personnel carrier from a military driving school in the town of Apatiti in the Murmansk region. He crashed into a parked car, badly damaging it before careering into the glass panels of a supermarket entrance. The joyrider then opened the hatch, climbed out and entered the supermarket where he grabbed a bottle of wine from an aisle. The man was arrested but the legal action taken against him remains unclear. Some outlets claim he was inebriated when he was apprehended while the BBC reported that he was merely bored. Number 7. Dmitry Luchin In 2018, Dmitry Luchin murdered, mutilated and cannibalized his lover as part of a devil summoning ritual. 23-year-old Luchin and Olga Budanova, aged 45, had reportedly planned a romantic evening together at the latter's apartment in Valdai to celebrate International Women's Day. At some point, Luchin repeatedly struck the woman in the head with a wine bottle. After killing her, he used her blood to daub a satanic symbol on the door. He also wrote profanity on her corpse, using blood and purple nail polish. Luchin cracked Budanova's skull open with a meat cleaver. A neighbor, 21-year-old Alexandra Dedova, witnessed the horrific crime scene, as well as Luchin's initial police interrogation. Luchin admitted to cooking and eating part of Budanova's brain, the taste of which he said that he liked. He also drained some of her blood in a glass and drank it. Luchin tore out Budanova's insides and cut off her ears, placing one in her mouth and another in the cat's bowl. According to the prosecutors, he committed the ritualistic murder after becoming obsessed with the serial killers that he'd read about online. Luchin was deemed sane and fit to stand trial and was sentenced to 19 years in prison. Number 6. Denis Yigorov In May of 2021, a Russian figure skating coach shot a woman in the head in what's believed to have been a prank gone wrong. Surveillance cameras in Moscow captured the moment that 42-year-old Denis Yigorov pointed the gun at the unnamed victim's head after she'd reportedly met him to arrange a private lesson. Moments before being shot point-blank, she was smiling. Yigorov squeezed the trigger and the projectile perforated the woman's forehead. She touched her wound in shock as blood started pouring out. One local media outlet had reported that the man had used a starting pistol. They are loaded with blanks but can still cause damage, particularly at close range. The victim was rushed to the hospital where doctors determined that the frontal bone of her skull was intact. However, the tissues were badly damaged, requiring extensive restorative therapy. Updates on her condition indicate she required constant monitoring, but that she wasn't critical. Yigorov faced a conviction for hooliganism, which holds a maximum jail sentence of seven years. Number 5. Kachaturian Sisters in July of 2018, the body of 57-year-old Mikhail Kachaturian was found on a staircase in a Moscow apartment block. He'd sustained multiple cut and stab wounds to the neck and chest. His daughters, Christina, Angelina and Maria, aged 19, 18 and 17, were arrested for the killing. They admitted it, but their testimonies and further evidence would reveal that the teenagers had been abused, beaten and humiliated by their father for years, including on the day of the murder. His behavior towards them worsened after he'd broken up with their mother and by 2018, the teens were no longer allowed out of the house. On July the 27th, Mikhail had returned home and punished them for the mess in the apartment and extra expenses. He locked himself in a room with each of them and pepper sprayed them in the face, causing Christina to suffer an asthma attack and faint. Fearing for the health of their older sister, Angelina and Maria made the decision to kill their father. As the man slept in his chair, they struck him with a hammer and a hunting knife. He tried to fight back, but was pepper sprayed by Christina, who intervened after hearing the commotion. She then ran out of the apartment, followed by Mikhail. Angelina took the knife from Maria and stabbed her father in the heart, killing him. The sisters then cut themselves with the knife to make it seem like they'd been attacked first. The legal proceedings are ongoing after they were charged with murder in 2019. It became a high-profile case in the country, with criticism aimed at the law's failures to protect victims of domestic abuse after a bill in that direction had been shelved since 2016. Many argued that after years spent in constant terror, the teens saw no other option but to violently fend for themselves. Protests in defense of the Kachaturian sisters followed in Moscow, St. Petersburg and other cities with a number of activists, celebrities and public figures voicing their support.
Number 4. Dmitry Chikvakin In 2020, a truck driver from the Sverdlovsk region was the victim of a horrific vigilante killing. 48-year-old Dmitry Chikvakin had been accused of assaulting two underage girls. He had given them a lift at the request of their parents, even though he was a stranger to them. When 25-year-old Valeria Duneva, mother to the youngest of the alleged victims, came to collect them, the older girl told her they had been inappropriately touched by the truck driver. The police would later determine that the allegations hadn't been true but rather a joke made up by the child. Nevertheless, Duneva orchestrated a revenge attack with her lover, 33-year-old Sergei Chabin, who was also the older girl's father. Some sources claim that while Chabin took part in the retaliation, it was actually Duneva and the man's ex-wife, 29-year-old Alina Mikhailova, who'd acted as the ringleaders and main attackers. Along with several accomplices, they found Chikvakin and impaled him with a metal pipe. They then smashed him in the head with the same pipe, breaking his skull. He was still alive when the group left him but subsequently succumbed to massive head trauma. Daneva and Chabin were arrested, along with a third accomplice, while Mikhailova and several others suspected of involvement remained on the run. Number 3. Maxim Gribanov In 2017, Maxim Gribanov fatally beat his common-law wife and, in the aftermath, proudly sent footage of the brutality to his friends. 28-year-old Anastasia Ovsianikova had been planning to leave Gribanov, which is believed to have been the triggering factor in the attack. It initially took place at a cafe in the town of Lebdien. Before the eyes of horrified witnesses, Gribanov dragged Ovsianikova by her ankles and threw her in his car. The onslaught continued for several hours. Gribanov moved her to several different locations by throwing her in the trunk of his car, all the while relentlessly assaulting her. He then sent pictures and videos of the woman, who had bruises covering her entire body to his friends, boasting that she was under control. It was rumored that Gribanov had friends in the police force, which hadn't charged him in what had been a long history of domestic violence towards Ovsianikova and his first wife. The woman's father tracked her down to a flat where Gribanov had abandoned her and found her beaten to pulp. Ovsianikova was taken to a hospital where doctors had to drill into her head to drain over six pints of blood that had become trapped in her skull. She fell into a coma and passed away six days after the attack. Gribanov was arrested and confessed to intentionally causing grave injury, for which he faced a sentence of 16 years in prison. Today's topic was requested by Celtic Batman. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Tatiana Digamenzi In 2018, Tatiana Digamenzi, aged 49, hacked her teenage daughter to death with an axe. The brutal attack took place in the city of Tchaikovsky in the Perma Krai region and was reportedly motivated by Tatiana believing 18-year-old Yulia was too argumentative. For over three months, the mother and daughter had reportedly been in constant conflict. As Yulia slept, Tatiana repeatedly struck her with an axe, severing an artery in her neck. The teen passed away due to massive blood loss. Yulia's mutilated body was discovered by her older brother, Sertan, after he'd returned home from a walk. In the blood-splattered bedroom, he also found the murder weapon. By then, Tatiana had fled Tchaikovsky. She was arrested within 24 hours as she was trying to board a train from a city about 36 miles away. Tatiana confessed to murdering Yulia, allegedly telling officers, if I had seven daughters like her, I would have killed them all. Number 1. Mikhail Popkov Mikhail Popkov is the most prolific serial killer in recent Russian history, having assaulted and murdered at least 78 people. His only male victim was a policeman, while the others ranging in age from 16 to 40 were either prostitutes or inebriated young women. He worked as a police officer in the Erkst region of Siberia and would often lure his victims while in uniform, with the promise of a free ride. The bodies were so badly mutilated that he'd come to be known as the werewolf. Popkov was active from 1992 to 2012, predominantly in Angarts, Erkst, and Vladivostok, over an area of roughly 2,500 miles. This, along with his knowledge of police procedures, enabled him to evade capture for nearly two decades. In spite of extensive investigation, and survivor testimonies. DNA evidence and tracks from a Lada 4x4 used by law enforcement 
ultimately led to his arrest. In 2015, he was sentenced to life in prison for 22 murders. Two years later, he confessed to an additional 59 killings, 56 of which were backed by evidence, earning him a second life sentence. Popkov's revelations didn't end, and by 2020, his total number of admitted victims reached 83. Thanks for watching. Be sure to click on one of the links below for more videos.